Okay, everybody, this is the Gopher Protocol presentation uh, presented by uh, Brett Beard. I'm in Network Systems over there at OSU IT, Oklahoma State University Institution of Technology. Uh, class code is ITD1223. Now, uh, a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, like, what's the Gopher Protocol? A lot of people haven't even heard of it. Well, uh, we'll get to a lot of that later, and <clears throat> hopefully we'll all learn a little bit of something. So, uh, to get started here, why I chose the Gopher Protocol. Now, I chose the Gopher Protocol because it works in the application layer. Uh, those of you who don't know, uh, the, in the OSI model, it is layers 5 through 7. Uh, I like that uh, layer because, you know, a lot of different protocols that I like, like uh, DNS, uh, HTTP, uh, WWW, which was uh, WWW, World Wide Web, was the one that I wanted to take, but on the, there's a little discussion board where everybody chose what they wanted. Uh, I was a little bit late to it, however. Uh, if you wouldn't have taken it, wouldn't have been able to explore the Gopher protocol. Probably wouldn't have known anything about it. So, all right. So, how was the Gopher protocol created? I have a little Gopher for you as a reference. <laughs> now, it was created in 1991 by some students at the University of Minnesota. Uh, now, University of Minnesota. Not a lot of stuff comes out of there, but they made, you know, a whole protocol, so that's pretty cool. Now, here's the golden answer. Why was it created, or why was it named Gopher? Well, the school's mascot was the Golden Gophers, so there's only uh, really one name they could have named it, which is Gopher Protocol. So. And last on the slide, it's a, a lot like the, it's, it's like the Forgotten Protocol. It's like the Forgotten Island. You know, treasure map to go find it or something. So, anyways. So, what is the Gopher protocol? Well, it's an internet application, a lot like uh, www or http, except uh, it's just, it's a lot different. It's very different from the other one. Uh, however, uh, gained a lot of uh, Fame in about 1992, died out really quickly, as you can see, uh, 1996. Uh, its layout includes is organized text files. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, from various servers, uh, and it lasted only till about, you know, like I said, uh, 1996. Though it is a uh, only text files. It does have the capability of opening uh, GIF and JPEG files, so if you want to open up like a cat meme or you know something along that nature, you can, and uh, it's very possible. All right, so moving on to the next slide. So why was the Gopher protocol even used? So a lot of people are wondering, you know, why not just use www? You know, it's a lot better users I guess however it wasn't better for everybody now in the early 90s uh, there's a very slim selection of hardware you know hardware such as like the IBM PC were very popular back then we don't see really any of them nowadays but there's a lot a lot of them back then now uh, what it where gopher came in is that it would run very well on that older hardware. That older hardware uh, didn't really support any of the newer stuff that Windows was coming out with, like a lot of the Windows stuff, and, you know, WWW, you know, a lot of those things that it just didn't really compute with the older hardware. Now, Gopher protocol is not very uh, user-friendly, 
However, it runs really well on that whole hardware, so it's very useful. Very useful for those people who didn't uh, have the money, maybe, to take that next step uh, towards some of that newer hardware. So this is uh, the layout of the Gopher protocol. Uh, like I said before, not very user-friendly. Looks a lot like uh, one of those Nokia phones that I used to use back in the day. Had like a like that game called Snakes or uh, Caterpillars, whatever it's called. Uh, very, it, like I said, it's very different compared to the other ones. Like uh, I go to my, you know, I have Windows 10. I go to Windows or Microsoft Edge. And it looks a lot different. I mean, you know, I can, my uh, go-to page is uh, like msn.com. So whenever I get on, I automatically see like the news. Like here recently, the Notre Dame uh, building in Paris uh, caught fire. So I got to read a little bit on that. Very interesting. But here, you really don't have real anything, really. I mean, you just have text files. But looking at this, um, you, know, you can kind of see some similarities. Like at the top there, you can see uh, home gopher server. It's kind of like the URL. Like gopherproject.org. It's at the top of the screen where I can see it, kind of like on www or http. You know, so it's similar, but overall it's just it's different. Now going down, you know, it's got a nice uh, little greeting here. Welcome to Golf Gopher. Uh, Gopher is a slim, powerful, and fast way to present information in a hierarchical catalog online. Gopher uh, actually predates the web. Uh, a little bit before www as I said before although most web browsers make excellent gopher browsers too now, it's got a nice little message here that you're really you're trying to be real user friendly you know everything's laid out uh, then it's got these little numbers on the side I believe that these are uh, links like links to different uh, servers links to different sites like for instance uh, on 18 right here it's got the mailing list and then below it's got the mailing list archives you know so then you could click on those and then uh, go to your mailing list like you can view your mail uh, a lot like uh, I guess Google Drive like if you click on the little dots uh, and you go to like your Google Mail your, your, your Google uh, Docs stuff like that I believe it's a lot of the same stuff just very different now, uh, what confused me at first, so I'm going to go ahead and make a slide about it, is the hypertext protocols. Now, www.http and Gopher are all hypertext pro protocols. I'm going to give you the definition by uh, definition.net. Uh, so, the hypertext protocol is an application protocol for distributed, collaborative, hypermedia information systems. And that pretty much sums it up right there. Uh, like I said, uh, World Wide Web, Gopher, all uh, hypertext protocols. However, uh, World Wide Web was a little bit more popular because it was more user friendly. And uh, we look at it today. Uh, Gopher protocol is no longer there, sadly. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the only place that you can get the root of it, the internet application, is at uh, University of Minnesota. That's the only place you can get the root. Uh, however, if you were to uh, maybe do a little Google search uh, and go for protocol, I believe that there are uh, ways that you can have the Gopher protocol as your browser, like through like a www browser I'm not really sure uh, seems like I read something about that however I'm not sure so I don't uh, take that with a grain of salt and uh, going to my last slide here uh, my work cited I like to give credit to uh, Margaret Rouse uh, she her website really helped me out uh, in really understanding what the gopher protocol is and you know what it what it's similar to what it's different from so if you guys have any more questions, uh, you can ask in the comments if you would like. Uh, but 
probably go to this website and probably help you out a lot more than I can. And with that, uh, that is the end of my presentation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot more about the Gopher protocol. And uh, going forward, I hope uh, more things like this appear in, in history of technology. Anyways, uh, I'll see y'all later. Hope you guys liked the video and uh, subscribe. I'll see y'all.